Hello and welcome. We are now going to burn our bootloader to a USB stick. In doing so, we will then be able to boot from the USB stick and run our bootloader on our own computer. So let's begin. The first thing you need to do is plug in a USB stick into your computer. Once you have plugged in your USB stick, let's open up the terminal. Let's navigate to our bootloader's directory. We're now going to use a command line tool called DD. This command line tool is amazing because it allows you to copy binary from one file to another. And in Linux, everything is a file. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go sudo fdisk-l. This will give us all of the disks in our system. We can see dev sdb. This is our USB stick. You might see dev sdb1, dev sdb2. You can ignore those because they're the partitions. We don't care about that. Right, let's copy our bootloader to the disk. Please make sure there's nothing valuable on your USB stick because you're about to lose it all. So make sure it's empty. We're going to go sudo dd if equals dot forward slash boot dot bin off equals dev stb. So if means the input file, of means the output file. Pretty straightforward. If we now press enter, it has now overwrote the first sector, the first 512 bytes of our USB drive. There's no longer a file system on the USB stick. The file system doesn't exist on the USB stick anymore. It is now just data. If you now try to open up your USB drive, it will say that it needs formatting, something like that. You don't have to worry about that. The boot sector is written to the first sector of the USB stick. The first 512 bytes of the USB stick now contain our boot sector. In the next video, I will now show you how you can load your boot sector on your real computer. However, please bear in mind it might not work for you. Unfortunately, there's so many obstacles when it comes to writing kernels. Things work on one machine and they don't work on another. That is just how it works. It's the same reason why Linux has thousands of drivers. Every computer is different. So if it doesn't work on one machine, try it on another. But anyway, yeah, that we're going to do that on the next video. We're going to actually boot from that now. So congratulations, you've now written your boot sector to the USB stick. Thank you for watching this lecture. This is a preview from the Developing a Multi-Threaded Kernel from Scratch course. If you would like to buy the course, you can find a direct link to the course with a discount coupon in the video description. If you would like to keep watching these free previews, please also check the description of this video for the next part.